Today we're going to use ESP8266 to create a light intensity meter on a TFT LCD display and we're going to take that data and put it into Excel so we can view a timeline intensity graph. In this video I'll be using the ESP8266 and a 2.4 inch TFT LCD display, some jumper wires, a 10K resistor, a photo resistor, and a breadboard or two. This is a 2.4 inch color display with a 320 by 240 pixel resolution. It has a four wire spy interface and an SD card slot, which is kind of nice. So you can put uh, images on that, or today we're going to use it to uh, log our data, and you'll see that. So you can expand your project with that SD card slot, and it has an operating voltage of 3.3 to 5 volt VCC and 3.3 volt logic. And since the ESP8266 Node MCU board also operates at 3.3 volt logic, the voltage is compatible so we won't need any level shifters or anything like that so we can connect it directly to our microcontroller. If you want to use the SD card you're going to have to use this pin header up here on the top and you may have to solder it yourself or if you can find it already soldered that's fine too but it's worth mentioning. Here I'll tell you where I connected my display pins. The VCC is connected to the 3 volt, ground is connected to ground, CS is connected to pin D8, the reset is connected to D4, the DC pin is connected to D3, the MOSI pin is connected to D7, the SCK pin is connected to D5, and the LED pin is connected to 3 volt output. We also use the photoresistor, or also known as a light dependent resistor, and this 10K ohm resistor here to create a voltage divider circuit, which is used to reduce the voltage level to a value that the analog input or the A0 pin on the node MCU can read. And this photoresistor changes its resistance based on the light intensity affecting the voltage at A0. And this is what allows us to measure the changes in light intensity through the analog input. So for the photoresistor, we have one end connected to the 3.3 volt, when the other end, the other side, is connected to the A0 pin. And a resistor is connected between A0 and ground. And this is what forms our voltage divider. We didn't use a MISO pin or an MISO pin, master end slave out pin. It wasn't needed when we were connecting the display because these operate in a write-only mode. Now when we're connecting the SD card, we need that MISO pin because the SD card requires two-way communication to read and write data. You may have noticed that two of the SPI connections from the display and the SD card share a connection. That is the MOSI uh, connection at D7 and the SCK uh, connection at D5. And for the SD card, the MISO connection is at D6 and the CS connection is at D1. In the sketch that I used here, I used four libraries, including the uh, TFT display library and the widget library for the analog meter. And down here we create the TFT display and the meter widget, which gives us our light intensity on the display. And then we define the pin connections for the SD card, and we also include the variables to track the time and sensor value changes. In the setup, we initialize the serial communication, the TFT display, and the SD card. We also configure the light meter display and we set the recording and start time. In the loop, it measures the time and uh, light intensity. It also updates the light meter display. And the sketch also logs the uh, data to the SD card if the values change. And at the end, we add a short delay to stabilize the readings and manage the data logging frequency. Here you can see the light intensity widget on the display. And every time I touch the photoresistor, you can see the light intensity change. And I do have my SD card in here, so it is recording that data to the SD card. And then just a little demo here. It works pretty well. Now I'm going to take this uh, SD card out and I'm going to pull the data off of it. My SD card reader is actually a flash drive that I got with my 3D printer. And it's pretty convenient. And they're fairly cheap as well. When you look at the data on your SD card, you'll see something like this. You just copy all this with Control A and then paste it right into the cells in Excel. So let's go ahead and do that. Now all the data is in one column in Excel, so we want those in two columns. So let's go ahead and highlight that column A there. And go to Data and go to Text Two Columns. And we're going to pull this up. You want to select Delimited and then go to Next. And then you want your delimiter to be a comma. So it separates the comma and puts it in two columns. And then we'll hit next and finish. Yep, finish. There we go. And we have two columns. Now we can plot this. 
Now I want to label these. I'm going to label this first one time and the second column here intensity. Just so uh, you know what's going on when you look at it. It's not confusing. I'm going to go to insert and go over here to graphs. I want to graph and over here in charts pull that down. I want to do a scatter chart, a scatter graph and you can do rounded or straight straight um, lines or whatever. I'm just going to do straight lines. I think it looks a little bit better. And then here's our graph and we can expand that. And you don't need all these data points. You can actually do stuff to make it look more readable. You can change the scale, the axis, or you can use smoother line charts or experiment with different charts. You can increase the chart size. Or you can even do data sampling or thinning or add filters. So just play around with it. Do what looks best for you and what you're happy with. And uh, you take it from there. But that's how you do it. And this is just an example of an analog reading. I mean, there's other analog readings you can do with uh, voltages or motors or whatever. So experiment with it. Play around with it. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, be sure to like by giving it a thumbs up. Share with your friends. Check out our Facebook page. And if you enjoy this type of stuff, be sure to subscribe and leave a comment. Love to hear from you. I'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching.